Hello everyone, how good of you to join, take a couple, sit back, relax and enjoy our walk through Crown Falls. Lots of problems we have in this um, city here right now and lots of ideas for future expansions. The first one is, the problem is that we are lacking bricks. Quite severely so, I should say. So we do have all four brick factories now up and running. We also have them boosted by 50% and that's still not enough. So at the moment our base production for bricks is 12 per minute, 12 tons. Um, which sounds fine, which is not really fine. I have now a schooner on the way, hopefully. That should be on its way, delivering more bricks. There it is, another 50 tons are coming in. So both of my uh, industry islands are now also providing us with bricks. However, there is still, of course, the new world. In the new world, we do have five clay deposits in Martinez. Um, problem is, though, it requires obreros. We don't have that many. I can, of course, go ahead in, in Martinez and continue Dying upgrading, soul. which we are doing now. So let's go ahead and have these whole bunches here upgraded. So we have 500 obreros available. Reaching also the city status of Colony for Martinez. So this is growing as well. By the way, we should probably also accommodate the additional population with more rum. So I'm going ahead here and we're building a few more rum distilleries. Providing all of that. And then we have a clay deposit right here, for example. Let's go ahead and have us the, the warehouse. There's also two gold deposits that we should be aware of and then we have those two brick factories or that one let's build it right away right oh i think we are already using one yep it's this one right and that one and then let's have also another one a third production for this hole and that's this area once a clan a clay deposit and two brick factories to that costing me uh, another 200 obreros right away now with that of course bricks are being produced in martinez i do need to watch out for a bit of more storage. Uh, I would like to yeah, just increase my, my general storage area here a bit, which is starting to look like a smaller industry port, industrial port. And then of course we have our trade routes to Martinez back and forth. Now I do have uh, some three Royal Clippers available. That's not going to be enough, uh, not in the slightest. Um, a bit of influence I have, so let's go ahead and build a few more. Because first of all, uh, the sea cucumber, <laughs> is um, arriving right now. However, we're going to, of course, enable another uh, clipper to this one ASAP. I think we do actually have one in the new world. Dude, don't we have one? I think we have one here somewhere. Royal clipper. There is some more royal ships. Something that we have. Oh, I was actually convinced that we would have a clipper. Oh, it's a catcher. There it is. Oh, it's a catcher. is just a normal clipper, though. Sorry, that's not the one. Nelly, however, is just starting in Martinez. So let's add another Royal Clipper that is starting in Crown Falls. So they're on opposite, opposing sides again. So Condor is now joining this one. And then for this trade route, since they're not really going to be full that much, right? So in Martinez, we can take 100 tons of bricks with us in the, the cotton trade route. And we're doing the same thing for the, the rum trade route. So once again, with its um, six slots that we have, Let's get rid of one of the cotton because it's just too much anyway. And in Martinez, once again, another 100 tons of bricks, getting this over here to Crown Falls. And Sea Cucumber is now being joined then by the Penguin. Penguin is actually a good ship name for a ship that would go to the Arctic, right? But let's just, let's just send it over here now. And we have two ships on both of these trade rods now. Now the editor, uh, yep, once again, moment. let's just add us the maximum amount. We are going to tone down on the happiness um, propaganda there actually to 10 only uh, even five would probably be fine and we would have a lot yeah let's go ahead with five plus and we have a lot of influence left over that we can use what we don't have in crown falls yet is some storage capacities um with a storage harbor building so let's go ahead and start the first ones here beside my, my shipyard very important that we do this otherwise we were always going to be capped on my storage so this is adding me another 50 tons so 200 tons of additional storage and let's actually make this by another 100 tons over here. And since we have 5,400 workers available and we can upgrade them all theoretically, let's go ahead and do um, some more upgrading of the workers over here. That's 42 more tons. And also these guys here. Bear in mind, for every worker that we upgrade to artisans, we also reduce the schnapps consumption further. Right, so that the farmer demands, of course, and the worker demands which usually are being shared. And with that, we can further reduce this. 
Once again, I'm also going to um, double my output of bread, or not double it, but significantly increase it. So we can have these additional flour mills here. That's three that leads to six more plantations uh, grain farms that we do need. That we can then have right here. We can still squeeze them in. And let's just build all of them right away. By now, the costs don't really matter that much to us. The only thing that we cannot afford is the bricks. I don't have them. And once again, we need to wait for more bricks to come in. This is really, really a problem at this point. And I can find us hopefully some more bricks. So we have in Burvist, we do have three clay deposits. However, we only have 100 workers. I could, of course, go ahead with having us another uh, commute pier. While we wait for some more bricks, my salvager has arrived at old Nate. And we can turn in the five tons of sand and steel. And we do get the echo sounder. And with that, we do have now the ability to um, find salvage locations simply by clicking on my salvage ship. Reach the location. So let's activate it. And as we can see, there is a signal now coming from that side. And if we continue onwards, then we should find something, yeah, probably where this fleet is already waiting again. There's fun to be found in everything. Found All right, and of course it was the right location here. Now. You must know, the last thing I want is a repeat of the Battle of Trelawney. And we get Vasco's honorable agreement. Both delve into the Haycock and sail to the Grand Trading Post to turn it in. So let's get to my home here once again to Crown Falls where we have 72 tons of uh, bricks now. Let's go ahead and get us some 50 tons. And get over here to Bevist because we do need to build a, a worker community pier here. So I can build all three of these clay deposits here that I would like to have without having to build another city again. Because I'm certainly done for a um, new city building for now. The artisans want to give us something, so, you're playing best of three. which was the next step of the, the Nadaski journal. It seems and let's go ahead, win. have us the warehouses here. Plus, of course, then also, hmm, let's just check it out. There we have it. And there we have the next one. And then here we have two more plus clay pit. My ship should arrive any second now. Sean of Atum proposes a ceasefire for 90,000. Uh, let's just quickly check it out. I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to decline. Uh, reason for that is we are perfectly safe here right now in the new world and I'm not expecting any big pirate attack anytime soon. By the way, those advanced weapons here, I would really like to sell them. So let's get over there too. Isabel, because those are worth usually quite a lot. Now my ship has arrived in Burvist. Let's unload the resources that we have here. Um, and we can use the first well, the first batch of it for my commute pier. As you can see, we do now have a shared workforce with Crown Falls. Let's just try to unload a bit more. And with that, we can now go ahead and build my brick factories and use the workforce from Crown Falls. Awaiting new horizons. The cool thing is we also have, uh, as we can see, some copper, zinc, and even a coal deposit here available as well that I can further um, use them. Now, the penguin can finally continue on its rum trade route. So we have the second ship now on it. And I'm going to use Nantucket, my next trade ship that we have, from Burvist to Crown Falls. And its sole purpose right now is to get us some bricks over. Nantucket on its way. And once again, we're also going to move this one here to Trelawney. As we can see, yeah, Trelawney trade roads are filling up. Yeah, with a bit of bricks now coming in, we can continue with upgrading. Uh, we still have 4,400 workers, so basically the whole next district gets to artisans. Boom. That is a nice jump also in my taxes. And with the additional bricks, I can also now finish my bread production. So this one is also now working at a higher capacity, leading us to a surplus there of five tons of bread, as we can see. And everything else is still very much green. Also, my surplus for steel is now 10 per minute and 10 tons. So that means 200 tons essentially that I can use. And right now we're using 190 tons of the surplus. So steel is still stable or steel sewing machines and also still increasing. While we already use now a lot of it for the grain, right? But it's probably not enough. So I still need to wait on that. I'm still going to just export it in order to level up my first export goods because we still haven't done this yet. 
also now I think on the quest we have now the Nadaski journal here that I can continue reading. Tricky thing with that is any ship gets it <laughs> and the frigate down here in Shodix actually has received it. By the way, there is also Miss Hunt once again that we can see her ugly face. So let's go ahead and have a look what what's happening now. The heroes were stranded and in that case we may still learn what became of them and what happened with their treasures of course. To so follow Ndaski's hints to find the wreckage of HMS Ajax. Now if I'm not totally mistaken, it could actually be somewhere here, right? This must be it. Let's get over here with my other uh, frigate I'm going to send to Crown Falls, but with my Salvager. We could still probably find it over there. I think it was this ship here. It never hurts to also upgrade some farmers along the way. So we continue on. We are at 500 farmers now. And also these bunches here. Probably also some more upgrades on that side. And these guys, very good. Down to 200 farmers, that's as far as I would go for now. We're still having a, a total steel surplus of 20 tons per minute right now. We can also see this here by the steel going uh, very steeply up. And that means I can continue boosting my sewing machine factories, which I would really like to do. So let's build two more of them. And definitely also have some paved roads now. So that transportation times are increased. Let's also upgrade this warehouse here. The only downside is that probably locks might be a, an issue, right? So we're at eight tons right now. I will need to build a few more lumberjack huts. Lumber is really cheap though, so at some point we'll just import it then as well. Uh, yeah, here we still have some space just beside the pigs. And let's have two lumberjack huts here delivering then locks in addition to the warehouse. That should be fine really, any kind of stuff now. As we can see, surplus is there. And actually, it's tempting to just build another sewing machine factory. Workforce is fine. Noticing as well that we do have a nice surplus of limestone. Let's build another concrete factory on top of it. Right up here in Crown Falls, I would like to continue with my next uh, temporary industry, which is the brass production. Brass production we do need actually for quite a few things. We do need for our steam motors that we're going to need for the steamships and battleships. We also need it for the advanced weapons that we need for our battleships, for the elevator production, for the skyscrapers, for the brass production, for the, the spectacles. So there is a lot of stuff that we need for that, I think also, nah, not the bicycles, but the spectacles it is. So it's very important, but it is easily replaceable later on with high level goods. For now though, we need to produce it ourselves. That is brass. And for brass, we do need zinc and copper. Lucky us, we do have three Hi. zinc deposits and four copper deposits in Crown Falls. So let's go ahead and just advance with this road here all the way up. By the way, we are now at the highest point in Crown Falls here where we do have a beautiful view on the castle that we're going to explore later, and also the city down there. Very good. But for now, let's go ahead and build us the first copper and zinc mines. They're costing me some workers, right? They're also costing me some building materials, but that's it. And it's not really expensive, but it's a very, very important good. By the way, I think, yep, two tons per minute only, which is not a lot, to be honest. Here we don't even need a warehouse as we can just make this connection here to that one that we are going to upgrade of course. And then we have another deposit here once again with that warehouse here as well. Let's upgrade that one. I think that's already it for the, the zinc. There is one more. Let's upgrade. And for copper we definitely have more. There it is. Also it's connection right away. Let's upgrade. As always and with that we have this one available now um, and for every zinc we can build two brass smelters that means at the moment we can actually go up to six brass smelters but of course we want to go much more than that problem with brass smelters is they're polluting i'm not going to make a trade route now that gets the zinc and copper down to catastrophe to have the brass smelter here to save some of that attractiveness that is absolutely nonsense especially since this is not going to be a permanent uh, production anyway the only thing that i would like to have here is a warehouse and then our breast smelters. And yeah, we do need quite a few of them. Your people are starting to get sick. No problem. We do have hospitals. Do we? I think we have. Let's also just to make sure have a police station here. Because definitely don't want to lose anything to riots. Fire station we have close by. 
That would be eight, nine. Uh, let's make it ten, really. For starters, right? And as I said, we can build the first six already. That is going to be really expensive. We cannot even afford this. We are down to 78,000 coin right now. So I would like to start very small. Let's start with two of them. Because this gets the brass flowing in now. It's uh, right at a steady pace. Some smaller pollution we have then. But that is entirely fine. I'm really worried about this look here. Eh, no idea. Let's go back to in the new world, because in the new world, I do have my advanced weapons. How much do they bring? 67,000. Look at that. That's actually worth a bit. Welcome more volunteers. Time the rigging. But of course, the primary income is taxes. And with that, we continue onwards. We do have 4,900 artisans that we can upgrade right now. A lot of them would upgrade, especially here in the town center. And of course, we're doing this. More engineers for our sexy village. Still calling this a village, because let's be honest, it is a village. Here, and here, and also here. And this is actually already everything that we can afford. Let's just get them done with bricks. Proper beautiful bricks. And with that, a thousand more engineers coming in, and that should also boost my taxes there quite nicely. With a few more engineers in, we can then work on our couchuk and our bicycle production. But for now, we can just enjoy the view, as this city is really growing. Sorry, village, of course. Now that I think about it, the wreckage of the HMS Ajax could be somewhere here in the southern islands, as the journal tells me. So up here, it's not the one. This is something for later. Something really bad happened here too, but we'll just find this one later. For now, let's get my salvager over to these smaller islands. Somewhere here it should be. There's another one here. Southeast, it says in the journal. A bit more bricks and steel beams in again, so let's continue with some more engineers, especially here in the town center. This one, what is going on with those? Probably need a school, right? Yep, they don't have full coverage. There's the school. So also, this is reason enough for me again to continue paving the roads that we can do step by step as it is very costly, especially when it comes to your bricks. And with that, we do have the 100% school coverage now for, for these guys here and that should lead them to upgrade. There you go. Perfect. More buildings have been unlocked. More taxes are coming in. Ah, uh, there it is. HMS Ajax found in a southeastern island. Of the main island of Crown Falls. A mere frigate against a ship of the line. Only father's obsession with New the scepter could have clouded his judgment so. The last piece must be down there. All right, there is another lock here, and with that lock, we should find the Santissima Vittoria. He sketched the Santissima Vittoria in his journal before it wrecked on the coast. On the western coast, that is. So is it, after all, now here somewhere? Yes, it is oh now that way. ship. Let's get over here. Meanwhile, we can also continue with the next brass smelters. Two more here. Leading us to four. And with that, we already have now four tons of brass coming in per minute. The eagle must be here. And this is La Corona's big flagship. And dive at the Hi. specified location right over here. Let's have a look what this one holds. And we found another part it. of it, the eagle of the scepter of Capone. Miles the two alone. artifacts we have. You know, now that I see it, it really doesn't look much like an eagle, does it? Oh well, none of my subjects will ever dare to question it. We have the eagle, and Vashko promised to yield the pommel. He promised. Right, so I guess we need to get over there now. Sail to Vasco himself. Uh, he's right around the corner. New orders. Right over here. Let's get over there. And he's probably not going to give it to us. Now, while that is happening, let's continue in Crown Falls. I would like to start my next production for the engineers. And that is the spectacles. We don't need one ton of spectacles at the moment. Rather 
rather quickly done so. And we do have the spectacle factor here, it requires a brass and requires a glass. A glass is something we can have now as a surplus, right? The next glass maker we can have with the four sand mines. And then I just can go ahead now with the spectacles. Spectacles don't pollute. And I would like to have this one because of that right here, closer to the city center in this area that we are also going to electrify them because we will always need glass and in quite high abundance, so too. Why? Oh, there was a tiny bit of space here. Oh, come on, another purchase. Uh, not a moment of peace. There we have it, and we have the spectacle factories. Now, I don't, I don't need that many of them, right? So this is already going to be quite enough for a while. Um, and with that, I'm happy. And yeah, let's start with the first two. Right next to my beers. Another 34,000 that this costs us. Um, and with that, the glass production is starting to ramp up. Let's pause it for my engineers for now. And this will then, once I unlock it, further boost my income and my population for that. Uh, the bank has also been unlocked and not a very important building that we should aim now soon. My salvager, meanwhile, has arrived at Vasco. Let's have a look. Oh, really? He's giving it to us. We got the pommel. I'm pleased to report, sir, we got the pommel. <laughs> and let's deliver all of this now back home to Crown Falls to most likely, I think, combine it to the Scepter of Capone, the legendary item that we can use for the museum then. Alright, another thing is canned food is now going down a bit. Uh, the costs are killing us at the moment. I do need to find ways of actually getting money in. We might... We might, we might, we might do something. We might sell ships. I, I, I don't think that I actually so that need this, that I would ever need it. it. But yeah, actually, we are that low on money. I do need to sell ships, even though we do have such a massive city at our disposal already. Now, it's the canned food. I do need to, to boost its production there a bit. So another uh, two artisan kitchens plus the cannery <laughs> brings us really down there. And we will also need, of course, to continue boosting my pepper with that. Let's have another three, four. That's it. I oh, we do need more timber. Let's I get it over. Need to. to boost the canned food production. Your people are rioting. And then we should also find a location for our bank. Who's rioting now? Ah, this district here is rioting we should actually intervene quickly beating it down while we still can go ahead and have some police stations now we could also go for the new skin for it instead of those two there there you go this is going to look really nice once we have some higher sophisticated buildings close to it for now it'll have to do another fire station for this district also, what I can see is now that we have lots of bricks. So finally, there is something happening, right? All of this preparation is finally working out. And with that, we can have another massive upgrade of my people. Especially now here for more artisans. So a few more blocks here. Yeah, right beside the uh, police station. Continuing towards that. And also on that side here. So I would like to... To kind of like organically grow uh, in towards the center of it all. Change. And this is actually the end of it for now, because now we do like some steel beams, but only temporary, of course. Now, my ship should have arrived in in Titan in the meanwhile. There it is. Ah, once again, Miss Hunt with the share purchasing. I we always need to fight this off ASAP before it gets out of control. That is a bit more timber. We are lacking farmer workforce already, though, so I do need to just tinily, carefully... Boost the population of Titan, which is my red pepper farmers and my cattle herders. And with that, let's also go ahead once more, building two more cattle farms here. Well, let's make it three, because I was also building three pepper farms. Let's keep it intact, the ratio. This actually brings it down there again to negativity, but a few more should be fine. Very good. Get this one back home. And so far, so good. The city is growing. It's got a bit more complicated now with the industries. And of course, we should really push for that electricity at some point now. Stay tuned.